I'm here in Finland and the next few days we are going to be sailing not on that but on this thing and we're going to be doing something that's completely unsuitable for this kind of a trimaran. We'll do a camping and a sailing trip on the lakes of Finland. Uh, we need to go through a lock and a channel as well. Tiedätkö mikä meidän tota korkeus on? Ei <laughs> mitään. <laughs> Let's start with the assembly. Tarvin apua, saako apua? Apua vaikka en mahdukaan tulla. This thing is obviously still in pieces, but it is a Weta trimaran and I have never sailed anything like it before. The whole thing weighs just 120 kilograms. It's a fast and wet ride with a big downwind sail and it can of course capsize, which in sailor language means that it can flip upside down. Since most of you probably are not familiar with the local geography, this is where we are. Finland, the land of more than 180,000 lakes. We will start from the town of Lahti and hopefully work our way through a channel and a log to the lake Päijänne, which is the second largest lake in Finland. On Päijänne, we are going to try and find a suitable island to make camp and sleep for the night before heading off to our destination island where a good old Finnish summer party will be waiting for us. So apparently we need to install a new hatch here. Um, unfortunately we only have two bolts and no sealant so I hope it's gonna be okay because all of our stuff is gonna be in here including my camera gear. Oops. <laughs> I'm just gonna show you our camping setup and what we are going to pack. Here we have the tent, that's mostly for protection against mosquitoes. Then we have my camera gear and some of my stuff, some of Kuti's stuff and some of our food and drinks. Of course some Finnish candy and unfortunately non-alcoholic beer. That's a sleeping pad for me. Emergency uh, locator there, a satellite thing. Some of my clothes, some more of my clothes and I have um, light dry suit in there if it gets really rough and then our life vests Mahtuuks nää ulos täält kun me laitetaan nää tälle sisään? Mä <laughs> kyllä se teltta nyt tulee sieltä Relaxed <laughs> I'm pretty excited because I haven't really sailed anything like this before uh, this thing's supposed to be pretty fast and today we have a forecast of uh, winds up to 20 knots um, at least in the gusts so we'll see how it goes <laughs> Mä oon hyvän kelin kahteen, sit tässä on kova keli, niin sit karho on kahteen. Entä jos ukkastaa? Kuutti on niinku vastuussa siihen, kun kaikki menee hyvin. Mitä yeah. jos ukkastaa, niin kukas sitten? Mikä sitten tapahtuu? Ää, no sitten vaan mennään. <laughs> Just checking YouTube on how to jive this thing. Check how we read the genocar sheets. varmaan vähän ne. Hyvästi, hyvästi. Heippa. 
Pitäkää kivaa, että turvallista matkaa. I said a lot of small fast boats before I got into the whole cruising and living aboard thing and I now realized how much I had missed sailing these smaller boats. As soon as we got out of the wind shadow, this thing just took off. To get this kind of a feeling on a normal liveaboard boat is almost impossible unless you have sailing La Vagabond amounts of money to invest in a monster trimer. For the rest of us I just want to say that sailing on small responsive dinghies is a huge amount of fun. Alternative propulsion. On kyllä tää järvituuli niin aika tämmöstä oikukasta. Tuolla käy kuitenkin puistuuli. Once we get to the channel and the lock, there is a pizza place there, so we can grab something to eat. We will probably be sailing. It will probably be pretty late until we get to <laughs> pitch our tent. <laughs> so we are approaching the channel. It's actually quite long. And the lock, where is the lock in there? Like a middle of the channel. Uh -huh. Somewhere in the middle. Yeah, they are there. Eikö siinä ollut joku silta kans? Oh no, joo, se pitää. Eikö saa silta ajata? Mut ne avaa sen. Joo, ei sinne pääse. Mit? Ei, mut se on tossa suoraan eessä se sisäajo nyt. Tiedätkö, mikä meidän tota, korkeus on? <laughs> Ei mitään.
fenders, but luckily we have our um, PFDs. So that's gonna be our fenders. Nyt tankkaa sitten vielä 5 tuntia purjehdusta aamu kolmeen. Sitten kaksi tuntia. Kunta ja lisää. Et saa mitään. Mene pois. Meanwhile, no wind at all. Absolutely no wind. Well, it's coming. <laughs> no, it's... Uh, what time is it? Like 10 p.m.? No, 9 p.m. Yeah. We should try to do like 10 more miles today. Yeah. 10 more hours. So <laughs> <laughs> them pass. Näyttää vähän pläkältä. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Ihan hirveä speedi, kato nyt se. Ai saatana mikä se Kyllä. Tää ylittää mun odotukset ihan täysin tää vauhti tällä hetkellä. Yes. Ihan hieno sää myös. Pretty cool, pretty impressive uh, boat. It was quite funny leaving from the restaurant and people were looking at us like what the fuck are you doing because the water was completely flat. But uh, as soon as we got out just a few meters there was just a small puff of wind and suddenly we are doing like four or five knots. So the sun has set and it's now midnight and we are getting close to our first option for our camp for the night and we're just gonna go in and see if the beach looks good. Obviously we need somewhere to pitch the tent as well and so on. And this, by the way, is not typical Finnish weather. This is probably like the only two days during the year where we can like wear t-shirts at midnight. I didn't wear. Yeah, <laughs> Put is already wearing his down jacket. And I put some long pants on as well, but it's exceptionally warm. It's not like this normally, so 
I was expecting that I would be wearing a dry suit, but um, I'm not complaining. This is quite nice as well. Tämä aika itse asiassa syvältä tää ronta. Niin näyttää. Ja sitten tää on vähän tosta ehkä tosta sepelimäistä. Minne laitetaan telttaa? Joo, voidaan laittaa tähän. Joo. Täällä tää. Tää. Tuossa. Mä oon kasannut tän siellä. Good night. Good morning. Good is already awake and out of the tent. Uh, I just woke up. I didn't really sleep that well last night. It usually takes me a couple of nights to get used to sleeping in a tent. <clears throat> we are waking up early because um, today afternoon we have a forecast of uh, thunderstorms incoming. Today's breakfast was um, vegetable chipotle chili with rice. Can recommend. Not really that great maybe as a breakfast, but it's gonna power us through the day. Today's outfit, pretty cool. Long, long johns with um, shorts, because we are going ultra light on this trip. We didn't have um, sleeping bags either. We only had these sleeping bag liners. Luckily it was uh, warm enough, because this is all we had for sleeping bags. And I forgot my socks, I didn't have any socks with me. What's the chances for bad weather? 95%. 95%. Mm. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> but yeah, then we can warm sauna after the heavy sailing. Yeah, so the whole point of this is we need to make it to the island for the party and then we're gonna get the sauna going and all of that, all the Finnish, usual Finnish stuff. Yes. Metan kyydessä onkin aikaisempia aamuja kuin lumin kyydessä. Mm, eri säännöt. Joo. Kuti is the skipper, I'm only like the helmsman. You know, if you're on a, or if, especially if you're on a big boat, then quite often the skipper is like not the guy who is helming usually. So even though I have been maybe holding the tiller quite a lot, on this spot he's still the skipper. So. So if he says that you need to wake up at 8 o'clock because there is rain coming, then yeah. nothing you can do. Game is game. <laughs> but still I think we are too late. 
Yeah, oh, there's some weak uh, rain clouds behind us. Siihen kuoli. So now we are passing by the island of Kelven and you see this here. It's a little bit similar to where we uh, went yesterday. We went under the bridge here and that's what you saw on the drone. These are formed by the um, glaciers uh, many thousands of years ago. Lots of sandy beaches here. Um, and lots of people with power boats using them to their advantage and uh, hosting big parties but we are just gonna pass by but this is a really beautiful spot here some intricate navigation here we are optimizing our light wind strategy here. Wait forward. I think I'm not really sure how to sail this boat in light winds. On uh, Mono holding is you usually want to have the weight forward when the wind is light so you can so you lift the stern up a little bit so it doesn't drag that much in the water. I think it's maybe the same here but I'm not really sure. It's getting close. Oh, big gust as well. Ooh, nice! <laughs> nice! Over 10 knots. <laughs> yeah, there. Oh, oh. Hello from the editing corner and thank you for watching and lo and behold my professional editing setup here. I don't know if it actually looks professional but whatever you know I have my used MacBook Pro uh, that I bought used and then a hundred dollar external screen that I have velcroed together with the MacBook so I have a little bit more real estate over here. But um, yeah, anyway, thank you for watching this one. These last two videos, they were obviously shot in Finland. I had a lot of fun putting them together. But now, as you might see, we are back aboard Lumi in Alaska and we are getting ready for the autumn 
and winter sailing season. Especially the winter sailing and skiing season is something that I'm really looking forward to. Most of the people this time of the year they are putting their boats away, getting their boats ready for the winter sleep and this is the end of their sailing season but for us it's kind of the opposite um, so there's a lot that's going to be happening during the winter and I think it's going to be really exciting so if you want to follow along uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so it's completely free and it helps me out and then as usual I'm just gonna say this one more time what's not completely free is Patreon but that's the best way to support the creation of these videos so if you sign up on patreon you get some perks like ad free videos and early releases and we have our chat group and so on and yeah that's just the best way to fund these videos basically so if you like the videos please consider that you know the christmas is coming and whatever would be a nice christmas present for me i mean i know it's a few months out still but um whatever <laughs> other than that the next few videos or the next videos are gonna be from alaska again thanks once more for watching and i will see you all next time bye bye